One of our input file is the um, Lagos input sample, which shows our location of slum and non-slum. As mentioned earlier, these points were obtained from survey in Lagos, showing the location of slums. So we are going to use this input data to train our model to predict location of slums for the whole city. So let me show the attribute data of um, of this of Lagos input sample, so you can see what I mean by slum and non-slum. Here, the grid code represents the grid code one represents slum point y grid code zero represents non-slum the other input data for our model these are the covariates uh, includes remote sense data such as slope and the digital elevation model dem the other data we have here are distance generated raster data which are also our spatial data. All our raster data have the same resolution of 30 by 30 and the same extent. So now we need to generate um, the corresponding raster point value, value for our slums and non-slum. To do that, we will click on the add raster values to point data. Our point here is the Lagos input sample. The grids are our covariates. We use the nearest number of information. So we save to file I already created one previously so I would name this as two and we This usually takes some time, so we have to wait for a few minutes. So because we have um, a relatively larger sample size and more covariates, so it usually takes time for it to run in QGIS. And also depending on the on your computer processing will determine how fast it's going to run. So it has completed and now this is the attribute table of our new point layer. You can see now that we have the corresponding raster value generated for all our point data representing slum and non-slum. To use this data in R, we need to convert it to a CSV val file. You save it in your appropriate folder. So now we have the CSV file that we are going to use in our 
in her. Let me open the attribute table to see what we have. Okay. So let me also open it in Excel for us to see the data as well. 